paint, paint, paint me a picture of what it's like in North London. Cool. So North London is um, home, obviously, for me. Uh, it has a very strong sense of community. Everyone knows each other. I've grew up there my whole life, went to school there, um, still live there now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's no place like North that. North London. Does it still? I know, like when you, when you leave somewhere and go on the road. Mm. Like I'm not, I'm not from here. I'm from the eastern part of Canada, like a really kind of a smaller place. Okay. And going back home now feels a little different. Does it yeah. feel a little different now going home? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's also because I don't know. I've been exposed to so much, um, in just traveling the world that when I go home, it's like, I, I don't know. It just feels really weird. But at the same time, I guess walking into my local store and doing all, it makes me feel like, you know, comfortable. Yeah. And um, I don't know, something nostalgic about it. It's like putting on an old jacket or like an old, yeah, an yeah. old pair of shoes. Exactly. Like I remember, yeah, I remember still these. Wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still wearing them. So where in that, where in, in North London, where in your trajectory did you say, I think I'm going to be an MC? Um, I must have been around, well, I started when I was nine. And, um, That's young. Yeah, I'm 23 now, so it's been a minute. Um, <laughs> and when I was 14, I think is when I started to take it serious and and kind of said to myself, "This is what I want my life to be. This is one, or this is what I want to do as a career." Was there a I'm moment where it was like, was there like you heard something or you did something and you thought, "Yeah, I th- I'm going to do this for 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 good." Um, not anything specific. I've just always been like a performing arts kid. So whether it was dance, music, acting, like anything in that field or that area was just me. I just, yeah. that's what I enjoyed the most. So it kind of felt like inevitable for me to be in, in this, in this space, in this place. Yeah. This is a concept record. Yeah, Stillness in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Stillness in Wonderland. If you didn't catch this, that's the second record. Mm-hmm. If people are, I mean, it's. A, I listened to it last night. It's wicked. Like Thank it's, you. it's really, really great. Thanks. Let's walk people through what the concept is. Cool. So, um, Stillness and Wonderland. Yeah, like you said, it's my it's my second album. Um, it is, I guess, follows the theme of Alice in Wonderland. So, for those for those who know the story, you can already kind of imagine it's it's very trippy. It's, um, with this album, I wanted to make it very visual. So, even though it's audio and it's it's musical, I wanted the listener to feel like they're immersed in a world, um, and that they can almost like be there and see exactly what's happening. You feel like you're following the White Rabbit. You feel like yeah. Um, you're in that kind of atmosphere, um, but it's funny because yeah. even though you mentioned the White Rabbit, this isn't yeah. this isn't a like I don't, I don't want you if you're listening to this to get the impression that this is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland. Not at all. This is real life for you too, right? Yeah, definitely. And uh, that's that's kind of what makes it really special for me. Is like her story is is almost a reflection of mine. Um, How so? Um, just in terms of trying to trying to find my way through life I guess um being 23 and and being immersed in in the industry in which I thought was going to be very different from what I imagined what do you mean um what did you think it was going to be I thought it was going to be a walk in the park I thought (laughs) it was going to be um I don't think it would be as stressful as it gets at times um or as lonely uh, and yeah, it's, it's lonely, man. It yeah, lonely. for sure, for sure. And it's things I, I'm now coming to realize and have been experiencing for a minute. So, it was I don't know. It felt right at the time I was making the record for me to address and talk about these things because my music is very personal. You know, it always comes from like a personal standpoint on what I'm experiencing now. I, th- I think sometimes though about being personal that like, I think most people listening to this. They have feelings of loneliness. They have feelings of doubt, and they have feelings where things didn't work out the way they wanted them to, or they're just trying to, more likely, just trying to figure out how things yeah, work. For sure. Typically, they don't get up on stage in front of thousands of people <laughs> and talk about it. Yeah. What do you What do you get out of that? What do you get out of sharing sharing such such personal sadness? Yeah. Doubt. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of hap- I should get. There's a lot of happiness on this record. There's a lot yeah, of optimism, sure. especially sure. in the first half of it. For sure. But what do you get out of sharing that the, the dark sides? Um, makes me feel good to, to ex- express myself, 
in terms of because I'm not a person that openly just opens up to people like that and I feel like music is is my only way of doing that and to 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 have that release and to know that there's other people that could be experiencing the same thing and that this could potentially help makes me feel good you know right the hope is that they'll hear something in your story that they right. can right? connect to is that right? or relate to yeah definitely cuz i'm aware that you know my my reality is is one that a lot of people experience too i'm not the only person that that feels lonely or feels you know what i'm saying like they in the industry not not saying like i'm a lone wolf or i'm a lonely person all the time it's not all negative no no and, it's not and, and all, again you know i don't want i don't want to give that impression but yeah, those are the yeah. moments mm -hmm. those are the moments that people yeah for latch sure on to for sure and that and that just is clarification that that everyone feels like that you know and so um I want to talk uh, more with you, but I want to listen to some music off the record. Mm -hmm. This is called Picture Perfect. So, uh, again, concept record based mm -hmm. in sort of on Alice in Wonderland, also on yourself. Yes. Where, where, in, where in the concept is Picture Perfect? Give people an idea of what they're about to hear. Okay, so Picture Perfect is when, I guess, I'm at the happiest point. Um, I'm enjoying myself. It, you know, it's... This place is amazing and I've never seen anything like it. I don't want to leave. I want everyone I know to, to come and experience this with me. Um, just really, really optimistic about it all and uh, full of life, yeah. It's a lot of energy. Let's take a listen. Welcome to Wonderland, Simbi. Trust in your intuition. Wolves how at any hour, cross a man, I'll devour you in a second Better mind how you walk through, making it out alive, it's starting to hope too On my life, there's wonder and terror and beauty and nature Independent here on my own, still doing it major Hey, you cannot be on the phone, so do me a favour Oh, wait, wait, slow down, rabbit holes where it goes down Do not interrupt the flow now, look at me Eyes peeled, know you're gonna be healed I've been down in nitty gritty and stayed in the hills I've been all over the world now but never to chill Been exposed to finding things And Italian meals What a change Wonderland is amazing Made it, ain't it Been partying for days On the same shit Never mind who I came with Man, I never ever wanna leave Let me stay lit Let me stay I don't blame you. I don't blame you for grooving along. And that's that's great. That's a great song. Thank you. Picture Perfect by Little Sims, Simbi Ajikawa, aka Little Sims, is with me now in the Q studio. Right off the bat, though, I gotta I gotta I gotta point this out right off the bat. It says, "Welcome it. to Wonderland. Trust your intuition," mm -hmm. and that's something that comes up throughout the record. Yeah. You hear the idea of trusting your intuition. Mm -hmm. You're 23. Yes. That, that takes a. T that's not something people typically have by 23. The yeah. idea of trusting their gut. Uh -huh. What does trusting your intuition mean to you? Um, it means, it means for me tr trusting myself really, um, and staying focused on on what I believe in, and and not letting I guess doubt overcome me. Um, yeah, that's what that means to me. Just trusting myself. You know? you, where did you learn that? Like, are your parents like that? Like, where did you, where, where did you get that? Um, yeah, I think I learn. All these things for my mum, definitely What's for she sure. Like? Was she like? Yeah. She's a lovely woman. Is she? Yeah. And and tough. I'm getting the feeling. Like yeah, very very strong woman. Yeah. Where did sure. so what what did you learn about trusting your intuition from your mom? I learned that that will never steer me wrong. You know, you, you feelings are. If I feel something's not right no one can tell me that i don't feel that you know what i'm saying only only know only i know how that feels and so just learning to to not ignore that i think um when it comes to even being in situations if i'm at a place and it feels like i'm not meant to be here or leave you know what i'm saying have mm -hmm. yeah just trust in that and don't don't ignore it i'm just, sure i'm thinking about those those different kinds of emotions you have when you're in something like this and i love mm -hmm. what you said when you were talking about this new record that a lot of it's just about you going down this road in the music industry you going down this road and you're professionally that yeah I like you said you thought it was gonna be you thought it was gonna be a bit of a walk in the park. Yeah. And it's and it's not, it's and, not. I, and I think when people hear great things happening to someone and some yeah. really great things have happened because of your talent, they think it's all easy, but it's not all easy. At all. Like I wanna I've noticed in a lot of interviews people ask you about Kendrick Lamar and all mm -hmm. the kind of pressure uh, sorry, all the all the kind of praise that he's heaped on you. And I should yeah. say Kendrick Lamar called you the illest doing it right now. Yeah. 
But I got to think that when someone like Kendrick Lamar praises you, sure, it feels good. But yeah. it, must, it must give you some pressure, too. <laughs> no, it feels if it's, it's great. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick, somebody that um, has definitely inspired me. And I've had encounters with him where he's, he's, expressed, he's expressed that to me in person. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it feels good. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right. And um, I, I guess it just gives me more fuel. But it, it, it doesn't put the pressure on? It doesn't make you go like, oh, God, this is getting real now? Um, no, nah, but I think I'm a person that works well under pressure anyway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it could be, it's, it's a good thing. But, I mean, you're, sure. tour, you're touring with Lauren Hill, mm. uh, with Nas, you know, Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar, have all, have all talked about you. Forbes made you the first British MC on their top 30 under 30 list. Mm-hmm. I guess whatever, whatever that means. But as you're, as you're, <laughs> as you're coming into the public eye, it seems like a larger swath of fame is inevitable. And yeah. you talk about being able to go into the store in North London and that not being a big deal. There's going to come a time where maybe that, that's not going to be as easy. Yeah. How are you feeling yeah. about that? Um, I feel cool. I feel like I'm a person that I know how to move and I know how to maneuver and I'm, I have a strong sense of self, you know what I'm saying? I'm aware that all these things are happening and things are, are changing and I've already started to experience change, you know, but I think... Um, it, I have good people around me that keep me grounded at all times and I have a loving family and all in all, I don't, you know, hold myself up like that. You know what I'm saying? I still feel I'm amongst people and I still um, move with people, you know. I, yeah, so it's all good. I mean, when you're watching, I mean, it is, it's it's all very, very good. <laughs> but when you're watching someone like Lauren Hill, when you're watching mm-hmm. someone like Nas, when you're... <clears throat> do you learn something about how to navigate fame from watching people like that? Um, yeah and no, because I don't know. I don't really watch that side of them, to be honest. I kind of am more just like about the music. I'm not too fascinated with like people's personal and private lives. I, I, I think what I'm asking is that like if – you strike me as someone in listening to your record who mm-hmm. is largely about the music, and it just, it just seems to me like fame would be kind of an unfortunate byproduct of wanting to make the music that you make. Right. Like, what does fame mean to you? Um, not much, to, <laughs> to, to be honest. I think um, it's something that definitely comes with, with what I'm doing, and I'm aware of it, but it's definitely not something I'm, I have a huge desire for or a huge want for, um, and I'm... I don't know, I guess I've experienced it on, like, the most basic level, but um, we'll have to see. It's, it's, it's interesting you say that because at the end of the record, mm-hmm. you're disenchanted with Wonderland. By the way, um, if you're just tuning in, Little Sims record, mm-hmm. it's kind of a retelling of Alice in Wonderland throughout your own lens, through your own experiences, yeah. trying to navigate the world that you're you're entering right now. Yes. And at the end, I want to quote you, you say... I can't afford to be here anymore. Mm-hmm. It's not real. It's a figment of my imagination. Mm-hmm. Real <clears throat> stuff is happening. <laughs> it's radio. Yeah. Is happening and my people need me. I'm out. Yeah. What does Wonderland represent to you at that point? Real people need me. I'm out. Um, I think I said my people. My people need me. Yeah. That's my, I've got it right the first time. <laughs> my people right? need me. I'm out. Um, yeah, I just I feel like at that point I was – closing the record it just felt like all right um I've kind of been in my own bubble I've been isolated from everything that's happening in in the in the real world and I'm aware that I have a responsibility and I have a part to play and um people look to me to an extent and I feel like I need to come back into that world and um I don't I don't know what you yeah. mean in terms of Okay, so Wonderland is is a world that I've almost created myself in my head. And I'm a person, I'm very introverted. I'm very always in my own head, in my own mind. And sometimes that leads me to kind of shut myself off from everything else happening on the outside world. Just naturally, I don't even think about it, it just happens. And so I realise that often that's not a healthy thing to do. To, to not pay attention to, like, let's just say the news or what's happening in the world. And, right, okay, I know what you mean. You yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So um, I kind of came to a realisation that as much as, you know, I've, I find comfort or um, find it easier to just be in my own space, it's not, it, it could be more harmful than helpful. And, um, 
yeah, I'm just aware, like I was saying before, I have a responsibility and I have a part to play and I have a voice and people look to me. So I feel like um, I need to be present with everyone. But that's funny because I think existing in your own space and and kind of writing your own story is some, yeah. something that's been working for you for a very long time. I'm thinking about on your uh-huh. first record. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about that song, Wings, uh, the, the type of music that ain't ever going to sell. Well, you should have never told me that. Mm-hmm. And it's <laughs> like, that's not you. That is totally you in, inside your world <laughs> and addressing some some naysayers. Is that yeah. right? Am I getting that right? Like, yeah. you seem fueled by people who tell you you can't do it. I, I, yes. That <laughs> is like fire in my belly, for real. Why is that? Because it's just like, yeah, I can't do it. Watch me. That's literally it. I think a lot of people would say, oh, you can't do it, and they'd experience some doubt. Yeah, no. I mean, I guess it's that, like, glass ceiling effect, you know, and self-fulfilling prophecy. If someone's continuously telling you, you know, this can't be done, this can't be done, this can't be done, some people actually start to believe that. But I'm a person, I'd, I'd take that and use that as, like, no, nah, I'm about to do it now. Like, I always consider myself or see myself as a as a doer as opposed to a talker. I don't want to talk about the fact that I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. I just want to go and do X, yeah. Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, I appreciate yeah. you talking to me about it. I really do. <laughs> I want to play one more track off the record, and we're sure. going to close off with this one, so we'll like we'll play this out. Cool. Um, this is from Stillness in Wonderland. This one's called Shotgun. Tell me about this song. Shotgun. Shotgun's fun, man. I like it. It's got like a... Feel like it's got like a little ninety sort of vibe to it. Um, but where in the journey is it? Where in the where in the Wonderland story is this song? I guess. Well, this this is uh, top of the album, so it's just before Picture Perfect, and and the top of the album is really much me. You like you were saying before, so it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of um, just being here and and being excited and I guess feeling myself a little and. Um, this this record I got to collaborate on with um, Sid from from the internet, from the internet yeah. Um, yeah which was which was really sick like obviously Sid's an incredible artist and then um, ultimately it's just fun and I guess yeah me feeling myself a little and just being a little cocky and a little uh, what's the word what's the word I don't know what the word is but cock we'll, we'll stay with cocky yeah. Little Sims, thanks so much for talking. <laughs> cool. Thanks it's been for a real, real pleasure talking to you. It really has. You too.